by rock and roll and comic books and bubble gum. Hey there, welcome to Sly Wagon Lessons. Going to try for a quick lesson today on uh, a great song about the headstones when something stands for nothing. Uh, badass, straight ahead, rock and roll song uh, from Canadian group The Headstones. It's a, a simple one, three chord progression. Uh, it's in the key of A to cover off the uh, details. So I like to play it with uh, a D, a C, and a G shape, but with my capo at the second fret, all right? So it's in the key of A, and we're gonna play cross harp over top of that chord progression. So uh, A, B, A, B, C, D. The fourth is a D, so I've got a D harmonica in the rack for today. That's where you find the blues scale uh, that we use um, when playing cross harp uh, for the key of A, all right? It's a D diatonic, Richter-tuned harmonica that I've got in the rack for today. And uh, it's a nice, uh, simple, but really uh, engaging harmonica solo. Uh, as mentioned, the chord progression is a simple one, a D, a C, and a G. I like this shape for the uh, G uh, with the pinky catching that high uh, G note. Because of the capo, that's an A, of course. All right, but it's a G uh, chord shape, uh, and then it's a, it's a rock and roll. Song. All right, uh, pretty simple three chord progression, and now I'm going to uh, put the uh, notes on the harmonica up in the picto tab. Uh, a blue square means blow. And a red square means to draw or inhale on that hole on the harmonica. And um, a little arrow in the red square means to bend that note. Just for inflection, uh, it's, it's for um, effect, sort of, when we're kind of wailing on the four draw. We're going to bend it. And you don't need to worry too much about hitting a um, precisely a note but it lowers the pitch when you bend it, and I'm going to explain that for you uh, uh, afterwards, but um, when, you, when you bend it, it lowers the pitch of it, eh? so it's, it's no longer um, the, the, the note that you're playing, it's, it's a little bit lower in pitch, all right? So, you get into it after the... Uh, actually an eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're probably going to start on the seven to wail on that four draw uh, in anticipation, kind of one note uh, starting out before you get into the measure with the D. So the first time through, you actually hang on that four draw, bending it and kind of wailing on it, until with the chord progression, you're down to the G, and then you throw in a little bit of stuff. So again, I'll, I'll try to play it uh, more slowly still and put it up in the picto tab. <laughs> Just run up and do it again.
That's it in its entirety, and you throw that in a couple of times in uh, the headstones when something stands for nothing. thought it might be interesting, though, to look at uh, and let you hear. Uh, if you were playing this in a band setting, all right, so you're playing the harp, you don't have guitar playing responsibilities. Uh, so what I would do then is play Hold My Harmonica and use a harmonica microphone. <laughs> All right, this one's the, the green bullet. Uh, a lot of guys use these. Um, and through an amplifier. So I'll just show you the one that I use. Kind of when you, when you want to play the harmonica through an amplifier, it's almost like the crappier... Uh, the better. <laughs> so you get kind of a squelchy sound. So I don't know that I've found the ideal uh, amp yet, but this is the one I use. It's an old um, Italian amplifier called a uh, Miazzi. <laughs> All right. And um, it gives me a fairly uh, pleasing tone when I play it uh, with the, uh, the Green Bullet microphone. So Again, in a rock and roll band setting um, where you're just playing the harmonica, uh, which is kind of a, a fun situation to be in, um, you're going to play it through an amplifier and you're going to get a very different tone. So I thought I would just play you that tone, um, give you a little sample of it so you can hear uh, the difference when you aren't playing through. Normally when I'm playing with, the, uh, with my uh, flat top guitar, then I'm just running everything through the board, right? The microphone uh, on one channel, the guitar on another channel, um, and mix them together that way uh, to get the harmonica sound. Uh, you get a very different sound when you play your harmonica through an amplifier um, rather than uh, direct to the board. And then uh, with the uh, like a, a, a purpose-made... Uh, microphone, you get uh, a different sound uh, again, and it's kind of a, a cool tone that you're going to be familiar with, and it will be closer to what is actually on the Headstones uh, record. All right, sounds like this. <laughs> So I did uh, promise you I would uh, talk a little bit about how to bend notes, all right? So um, in the context of uh, this song by the Headstones, it's, it's mostly that four draw. Let me turn my mic back up. This one feeds back a little bit if you're not careful. So, so um, as I've covered in other lessons, the, the bending of a note is about changing the shape of the um, your mouth, all right? So you think of your mouth as like a kind of a cavity. <laughs> uh, and then if you constrict the front portion of your mouth, it changes the pressure uh, that the air is coming into that, that air chamber, right? As you inhale through the harmonica, then you change that pressure by, by constricting the front portion of your mouth um, without changing the pressure with which you're inhaling, that can kind of remain uh, constant. That, that you shouldn't concentrate on that. You focus on just changing the, um, uh, the, the shape at the front of the air chamber that you've got uh, through your mouth, all right? So um, it's, uh, it sounds like this. And then you throw in a little bit of um, tongue um, activity, <laughs> and you can put a little bit of rhythm to it. All right. If you've ever done this thing in high school, drove your teacher not the, the water drip sound. It's similar to that on, on the water sound. You're um, exhaling, you're, you're forcing air out through a smaller kind of uh, opening then, whereas on the harmonica, on a draw note, you're, you're inhaling. But it's the same principle. You're just changing the shape of your, uh, your mouth.
All right? So hope you enjoyed that. And um, work at the bending of the note if you don't already have it down. And it'll come uh, with uh, repeated effort. And then you won't be able to stop bending. And that'll become your new challenge. All right? <laughs> so I uh, hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Go ahead and subscribe to Sly Wagon Lessons. And uh, we'll keep the uh, song-based instruction coming. All right? Ah!